Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Argentina and the United States have initiated discussions regarding the procurement of military vehicles, marking a significant step in Argentina's efforts to bolster its defense capabilities amidst evolving security challenges in the region. The talks, which are part of the U.S. Foreign Military Sales FMS, program, aim to enhance Argentina's military infrastructure through the acquisition of 9X New Zealand LAV-3s and approximately 180 Striker 8X-8S. The decision to pursue these acquisitions underscores Argentina's recognition of the need for modernized military equipment in light of regional instability. With neighboring countries experiencing various forms of destabilization, including increased cartel violence and diplomatic tensions, Argentina finds itself facing heightened security risks, particularly along its northern borders, which have historically been vulnerable to drug trafficking activities. The Stryker 8x8 and LAV-3 represent formidable additions to Argentina's military arsenal, offering versatility, mobility, and firepower across diverse operational environments. The Stryker, known for its modular design, can be configured for various roles such as fire support, medical evacuation, and reconnaissance. Its 8x8 wheeled chassis provides agility and speed, making it well-suited for rapid deployment scenarios. Equipped with advanced composite armor, the Striker offers enhanced protection against a range of threats, including RPGs and IEDs. Similarly, the LAV-3, designed for reconnaissance and infantry transport, boasts impressive speed and maneuverability. Armed with a 25mm chain gun and a coaxial machine gun, the LAV-3 delivers significant firepower while ensuring the safety of onboard personnel. Its robust armor, coupled with the option for additional ceramic armor, further enhances its survivability in combat situations. While specific details of the agreement are still forthcoming, the discussions signify a deepening partnership between Argentina and the United States in the realm of defense cooperation. The potential sale through the FMS program reflects a standard procedure for international defense acquisitions, subject to rigorous government oversight and regulatory scrutiny. The outcome of these negotiations holds broader implications for regional security dynamics in South America. As Argentina seeks to bolster its military capabilities, the acquisition of advanced military vehicles may influence the balance of power in the region and shape future defense strategies among neighboring countries. As discussions progress, stakeholders eagerly await further developments regarding the configurations of the vehicles and the overall scope of Argentina's military upgrade plan. The move underscores Argentina's commitment to safeguarding its national security interests and addressing emerging threats in the region through strategic partnerships and modernization efforts. That's all for now. See you later.